Michael Umadit is drawing symbols and motifs on an old minibus taxi, popularly known in Lagos as Danfo. He uses a mix of patterns and words to highlight what many Nigerians will say is a chaotic but necessary form of transport in the city of 21 million people. It takes about three hours to cover the entire body of one Danfo. As chaotic as they are, artists like Umodit say they will be sad to see them go. He says his art project is in part meant to make sure they are never forgotten. The 23-year-old says this project is inspired by frustration, but is also a way to pay tribute to a symbol of Lagos's diversity and pop culture. It's actually a downfall, and trust me, like it wasn't a positive experience. Like the whole chaos, tussle, swear people were just pushing. I was about to go in, and then there were people pushing, tussle. When I was inside and I just plugged my earphones on and I started thinking about this project that I actually want to work on the downfall because of that experience. I mean, it's, you know, it's like a collection of people from different race, um, different, you know, occupation, gender, you know, social status as well. So I, I think it kind of brings people together. And that's what inspired the whole, you know, the whole drive to do the Danfo story here. The Danfo is the most commonly used public transport vehicle and ferries millions of residents every day across the densely populated city. There are over 5,000 weaving through the streets, each carrying 16 to 18 passengers at a time. I know it's about to be phased out and that's, the, that's like one of the importance of this particular project because it's going to last for generations to come. I mean, my kids will probably never see this, so you know, it's, a, like a, it's an opportunity for them to relate and more of the positive side. There are negative sides, definitely, but on the downfall story, I was just trying to focus on the positive you know, side of um, you know, the downfall story as a means of transport in Lagos. But yeah, we can tie it to the failed transport system in Nigeria right now. I mean, we're in 2018, we don't expect some kind of things right now, with the, especially with um, the unorganized or rather unstructured transportation system in Nigeria. So um, I feel like the change should be for a better. Downfalls have a bad reputation. They are carelessly driven, accident prone and overloaded. Women are especially harassed by touts and fellow male passengers at stations and on board.